this challenge is going to be a little bit different in the sense that I thought I had a, I thought I had an idea, but now I'm not so sure. So when the theme gardens came up, I thought I want to make sure I don't do more flowers like last time. And unlike last time, where I had a clear idea of what I wanted to do, I found some reference photos of a couple of dancers and I wanted to have them bursting through some flowers and meadow. I didn't know what flowers, I didn't know the exact image, but I had enough information where I can just go for it and see what happened in the process. For this one, I've been in the sketchbook, I've been working out composition, I've even gone into AI like I sometimes do these days and see what it looks like, but I'm thinking it's been done before and AI is probably taking it from some other source and I'm sure if I type it into DeviantArt it'll come up with the same kind of theme and same kind of alien design. So I wanted an alien landscape, I wanted plants in background, I wanted this person holding a floating island like an avatar and have someone gardening on that island and have like the size scale where the alien, alien is giant and the little person. But I'm thinking now that may be more cliche, not as out there as I thought. So I'm thinking, I love, I love drawing wolves. I haven't drawn a fox before. So I want to have like a magical spiritual fox. And so let's go into the sketchbook and see what I come up with and then procreate and get it onto the canvas and see you know, what this ends up being. But I'm in the idea stage right now. So come along and see what rough sketches I have and see the starting, you know, start of a painting usually goes straight onto the canvas, but there's times where the sketchbook is an ideas kind of generator and gives to create a few thumbnails first. just go straight in with the paint and lately I've stopped doing that to try and get more accurate but I've lost something in my approach in leave that one to come back to later because I don't know how to improve it just now and it needs to dry before I can add all the like, pencils and stuff to see if that improves it and what this is doing is just working out like the bits I like, the bits I don't like, what's working, what isn't working, what a fox actually feels and looks like, what that means in terms of drawing it and painting it and hopefully this will come up with something you know more cohesive at the end but this is a sketchbook kind of tour of video, even though this is on paper, but it's basically just trying to figure out where I want to go with this sketch. Because I've got the sort of feel and the idea behind it, but I'm still not quite sure you know, what I want, what elements I want in this painting. <laughs>
you know when you just can't get into a painting and you're also not quite sure you know, if it's working, what to change, what not to change. I'm kind of at that stage where it just doesn't feel like the energy is quite right or the balance of the composition or the skill level in order to get the background in isn't working. So when that happens, I tend to just add more energy in with like gel pens and various things. I could really do some um, finding my grey ones because that would be more subtle, but I found the brown one, which is um, allows some layering there. So yeah, we'll just see how it goes because last video with the challenge, it just kind of just worked. I was in the moment and everything just flowed. I knew what I wanted to, uh, to do and achieve. This one, I've got an idea, but I don't quite know how to get there. So when that happens, I, I tend to figure it out in the sketchbook. I tend to figure it out, out on the canvas. And when you're making a video, it can be quite daunting because you're not quite sure if you're actually going to finish or get to a point where you deem the artwork done. But we'll see how we get on.